What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and then today Apple released iOS 17.2 Beta 3 to register developers and soon for public beta testers. Now along with this release, we also got the third beta for iPadOS 17.2, WatchOS 10.2, macOS Sonoma 14.2, tvOS 17.2 and HomePod version 17.2 and then we did also get the Vision OS beta 6 today as well. But of course in this video we're talking all about iOS and iPad OS and you can see here the size for this update came in at around 650 megabytes on my 15 Pro Max but that size will vary depending on the device you're on and the version you are coming from. Now we do have a new build number if we head in and check out our new build number it is 21C 5046C. So we do have a C at the end of the build number, which indicates we likely only have one or two betas remaining before the RC. And we'll talk more about that near the end of this video. And if we go down, we do also have a new modem firmware. It is now 1.22.05. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 17.2 beta three? And the first thing is actually a new wallpaper, or I should say the return of a wallpaper. So if you go ahead and tap on the plus on your lock screen and go down and until you get to collections, you will notice that we have an old wallpaper making its return in 17.2, and it is this one right here. This is the animated colored circles, and you can see we can change between the different colors. So this is multicolored, and then we have green, yellow, orange, and you can see all the different colors right here. And then we do also have the appearance toggle, so we can change the appearance between light and dark, or just automatic based on the mode that you're in currently. So this is an old wallpaper that was removed with iOS 17, but now it is back. And if you're wondering what the animation looks like, you can see when you unlock your device, they kind of just move around a little bit, kind of like a live photo. It doesn't last the full time, but you can see they move every time you unlock your device. There's also a new change related to the keyboard. So if you go into your settings and go to general and then down to keyboard, we have a new toggle here for show predictions in line. So this allows you to get rid of the inline predictive text like you can see here on beta 2 on the left while also keeping the predictive text down here at the same time you don't have to disable both like you had to before and you can see it also changed the name of predictive text as well it used to just say predictive now it says predictive text this update also gives us a new pop-up in the photos application asking to grant access to apple music for curating songs for memories. So you will now be able to allow or not allow Apple Music to access your photo library to give you recommendations for memories. And speaking of music, we finally have a toggle that I was wondering why it wasn't there at the beginning of 17.2. So if you go to your settings, and then we're gonna go down until we get to music, and you'll notice right away up top here, we have a new toggle under library for add favorite songs. So now you no longer need to download and add music to your library just from favoriting them. So before, you didn't have a toggle here. If you favorited a song in 17.2, it would automatically download it and add it to your library. Now you can disable that function. And the description below that has also changed to include the favorites as well. So it says now when you add them to your playlist, or you favorite them. And if you head into the music application itself, you can see that the collaborative playlists now show the name underneath right here, whereas before it just said the name of the playlist. And also when you haptic press on a playlist, you can see that collaborate next to collaborate, the glyph icon has changed very slightly. It used to be shaded in, now it is not. This update also fixes the lock screen weather widget. So it now shows the current conditions, whereas before in beta two, it would just stay blank. There's also a couple of changes found in the code. And the first one is related to the FaceTime application. So it looks like now FaceTime will warn you if a blocked contact is joining your call. And then in the notes application, it looks like you now might be able to collaborate via airdrop in notes. So I've not been able to get that to work. I've tried, but I have noticed another minor change here in notes. And that is if you go to a note and you go to share and you go to airdrop, the wording up top has changed. So in beta two on the left, you can see it says airdrop a copy up top. But here in beta three, it says send a copy 
with AirDrop. Apple did also publish the release notes for beta 3 and they look pretty much the same as they did in beta 2. I'm not really seeing any changes here, but it does show all of our resolved issues and our known issues relating to AirDrop, Apple Music, and all of that. I will leave this link down in the description below if you want to read through it, but it's going to be pretty much the same as beta 2. Now, as far as the performance and the battery life goes, I am going to run a quick Geekbench 6 test just to see how the scores compare to beta 2 and previous versions. But so far, everything feels pretty solid. I mean, I really have no complaints so far, although I have only been using this for a little over an hour, an hour and a half now. All righty, so we scored a 2920 on the single core and a 7243 on the multi-core. And if you compare that to previous versions, it's pretty much in line. It seems a little bit lower than my last run here, which was on 17.2 beta 2, but not really by much. So performance, really no complaints so far, but I will update you guys throughout the week later on this weekend in my Apple Weekly episode on Saturday to let you know for sure how performance is for me. And then when it comes to the battery life, you guys will have to let me know what I was at at the beginning of the video and what I ended with, because usually that's really the only way we can tell how good or bad the battery life is in any given version. But so far, it's too early to tell for battery life. And again, I will let you guys know how it performs throughout the week because I will be using this on my daily driver, my main device, and I will let you know how the battery life is in my Apple Weekly episode on Saturday. And then also for those of you out there with the new USB-C Apple Pencil, that just received its very first firmware update today, and the build on that is 10M5164. So if you do have a USB-C Apple Pencil, you can now go ahead and update that for the first time. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So just as we predicted on Saturday, we did get 17.2 beta 3 today however i do not think we're going to get another beta next week and the reason being is because right here that little dot we do have thanksgiving on thursday the 23rd and usually this is one of the few holidays this and christmas where apple pretty much skips that entire week for software updates so for that reason i would not expect to see a beta next week i do think we're going to see 17.2 beta 4 on the week of november 27th and I'm going to assume that that fourth beta will have an A at the end of the build number. And then after that, we will see the RC on the week of December 4th, and then the final release on the week of December 11th. And then for those wondering if we're going to see another public release between now and the week of December 11th, which is the predicted date for 17.2, it's possible we could see a 17.1.2, but it would likely have to include some pretty major bug fixes in terms of security patches and potentially fixing the Wi-Fi issue that's been going Going on for a while but if those do not get fixed between now and then don't expect a release until 17.2 so anyways there you have it that is ios 17.2 beta 3 a pretty nice update i think we have more changes than we had in beta 2 and we should also see improved performance and battery life which is always welcomed so if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for more ios 17 coverage and of course the apple weekly episode coming on saturday and if you want to get this wallpaper it is from my opulent wallpaper pack i know i always say that but but there are over 100 wallpapers in there, so it's going to take me a while to go through all of these. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.